choosing which statistical test to use. There are many different tests you can use in statistics. Sometimes it can be quite difficult to know which is the correct test to use. This video includes seven tests you are likely to use involving means, proportions and relationships. When you are trying to work out which is the most appropriate test, there are three questions you should ask. 1. What level of measurement was used for the data we are analysing? 2. How many samples do we have? 3. What is the purpose of our analysis? I will now explain each of these questions. 1. Data or level of measurement. Is our data nominal or interval ratio? Nominal data is also called categorical, qualitative or non-parametric. Examples of nominal data are colour, whether parts are defective or not, or preferred type of chocolate. Nominal summary values are usually stated as frequencies, proportions or percentages. The tests that involve nominal data are test for a proportion, difference of two proportions and chi-squared test for independence. The other type of data is interval ratio, also called quantitative. Examples of interval ratio data are daily sales figures for chocolates, weight of peanuts or temperature. The most common summary value for interval ratio data is a mean. Tests that involve interval ratio data are test for a mean, difference of two means independent samples, difference of two means paired and regression analysis. For more help on levels of measurement, see our video Types of Data Nominal Ordinal Interval Ratio. Ordinal data can be classified with nominal or interval ratio depending on the circumstances. 2. Samples. Next we ask how many samples are involved. Is there one sample for which we are testing the relevant statistic against a hypothesized value? Or are there two samples which are being compared with each other? Or is there one sample, but each observation has a measure or score for more than one variable? The same sample is measured twice. If we wish to compare a proportion or a mean against a given value, this will involve one sample. If we are comparing two different lots of people or things, such as men and women, or people from two different departments, then we would have two samples. If we have two sets of information on the same people or things, we would say we have one sample with two variables. An example is one set of days and information on how many chocolates are sold and what the temperature was, or one set of people and information on their gender and preferred type of chocolate. Finally, we ask, what is the purpose of the analysis? We can be testing against a hypothesized value, comparing two statistics, or looking for a relationship. Chi-squared test for independence and regression are similar in that they are looking at the relationship between two variables. The difference between them is in the kind of data. If you would summarize the data in a table, we would use a chi-squared test for independence, whereas if you would put it on a scatter plot, you would use regression analysis. Here is an example for each of these tests. They relate back to our other videos teaching about hypothesis testing. After each description of the scenario, pause the video and see if you can identify the correct test before we tell you the answer. Helen is still selling chocolates. Example 1. Sufficient nuts. Helen was concerned whether the quantity of nuts was sufficient in her chocolates. She took a sample of 20 packets and found the weight of nuts in each packet. Pause the video. 1. Data. The weight was interval ratio data. 2. Samples. There was just one sample of 20 packets of chocolates. 3. Purpose. Helen was comparing against a given value. Thus, the test she needs to use is test for a mean. Example 2. Prize tickets. In a promotional campaign, 20% of all packets of chocolates should include tickets for free prizes. Helen takes a sample of 50 packets and finds that 7 of them have winning tickets. Pause the video. 1. Data. For each bar we are saying yes or no, depending on whether or not there is a ticket. This is nominal data from which we get a sample proportion of 7 out of 50 or 0.14. Samples. There is one sample of 50 packets. Purpose. 
Helen is comparing the sample value against a given value, 20%. We conclude that the test she needs to use is test for a proportion. Example 3. Bar longevity compared with nutter bars. Helen thinks her chocolate is last longer than the competition nutter bars. She gets 36 people to eat one of each and records their eating times. Pause now. 1. Data. Helen collects times taken in seconds, so this is interval ratio data. 2. Samples. There is one sample of 36 people, but with two scores for each person, the time for the chocanati and the time for the nutter bar. 3. Purpose. She is looking at whether there is a difference in the amount of time taken for each of the bars. Thus, the test is difference of two means paired sample. Example 4. Defective wrapping from two wrapping machines. Helen thinks there is a difference in performance between the two Chocanati wrapping machines in her factory. She checks 200 bars from one machine and 150 bars from the other. For each bar she is seeing if the wrapping is satisfactory or not. She finds that 10 out of 200 bars from the first machine and 9 out of 150 bars from the second machine are badly wrapped. Pause the video. Data. The information for each bar is OK or not OK. This is nominal data. It has been summarised as frequencies. 2. Samples. There are two independent samples, one sample from each of the two machines. 3. Purpose. Helen is comparing the proportions from the two samples. We can see that the test is difference of two proportions. Example 5. Do stickers help sales? Helen is exploring whether having free stickers makes a difference to sales. She has the sales figures for 13 days when she did offer free stickers and 10 days when she did not. Pause and decide on the test. Data. For each day, Helen has a number or value corresponding to the sales for that day. This is interval ratio data. It is summarised as a mean number of sales. 2. Samples. There are two samples, one sample for days with stickers and one sample for days without. 3. Purpose. Helen is comparing the average sales figures for the two treatments. We conclude that the test to use is difference of two means independent samples. Example 6. Are sales affected by temperature? Helen wants to see if there is a relationship between the daily temperature and sales of chocolates. She has data on sales and temperature for 30 weekdays of sales. Pause. Data. Sales and temperature are both interval variables. Samples. There is one sample of 30 days with two measures or scores for each day. Purpose. Helen is interested in the relationship between sales and temperature. This leads us to decide that the test is regression. Example 7. Men and women and chocolate preference. Helen is thinking of selling dark chocolate, milk chocolate and white chocolate chocolates. She thinks that men and women might have different preferences with regard to type. She collects data from 50 customers, noting down if they are men or women, and asking them which variety they prefer. Pause the video and decide. Data. Helen records the type of chocolate and sex of person. These are both nominal variables. Samples. There is one sample, the 50 customers, but with two measures or variables. Purpose. Helen is looking at whether there is a relationship between the two variables. Thus, the test is chi-squared test for independence. Those are seven examples of the seven tests outlined here. There are numerous other statistical tests and other things may need to be considered, but this summary will help you to understand what these seven basic tests do and what to look for when deciding on which test to choose.